be sure to like the video if you haven't already, because yep. I know you you liked it in the beginning. But like it again, and then like it again, because if you if you like it again, then you'll unlike it. So you should keep make sure it's a different color than gray. Get your mug, raise it. We know when we're starting the podcast. <laughs> Ha-har! Ha-har! That's adorable. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. This is Morning Eggnog. My name is James. With me as always, Caleb. <laughs> who is currently dying. <laughs> I just turned into an old man. Oh my gosh, you were laughing and then you did cough. <laughs> I did the old man cough. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't be, fit your arm up here? We, I just moved stuff around. And no, Caleb... Without bumping the... No, that... that... No. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Do we need to calm cups again? No more I mean, bumping cups. Let's this go. Can, this can stay in. I don't care. I don't care. So, Caleb. Yes. What's the weirdest thing you've ever happened at Walmart? Oh, the, whoa, the weirdest thing uh, at I'm Walmart. Trying, I, I couldn't think of a good one. Like, I thought, like, Walmart I, have crazy Walmart stories. I really don't have that many crazy Walmart stories. I feel like around here, people are... Pretty, pretty chill. Pretty chill at our Walmart. I mean, you get some weird outfits. You get some weird people. Yeah, nothing like too extreme. Of course, I don't go on like Black Friday when really weird people show up. Yeah, that that's when you real. <sighs> There's times when you just want to show up with a camera on like Black Friday days and just just film. a GoPro on your head, exactly, or on your chest, just confront the masses. Oh, at that point, but the thing is, is in Walmart, would you have to have a consent form? A consent form? I don't think so. Why would you need a consent form? True, it's a public property. I don't know. Anyways, people are filming there all the time. True, but what do you? What do you? What do you? What do you nothing. You know, anything that sticks out? Ah, nothing really sticks out. Um, that I can think of. So a woman has never tried to come over and uh, buy your baby <laughs> for five hundred thousand dollars at Walmart. Uh, no. <laughs> also, I love this video after the side. Anyways, <clears throat> Rebecca Taylor was arrested. Tuesday, January 24th, after allegedly attempting to buy a woman's child at Walmart in Texas, <laughs> which you would think it would be Florida, but it's a Texas thing. She looks like someone who tried to buy your baby, though. Yeah. But that, for 500000 Yeah. My goodness. That, that, she, babies are freaking worth, me out just a little bit. Yeah, like, babies are worth that much, but. She's under arrest, but she's got this smile of like, I will kill you. Pretty much. Yeah. I will, I will get that baby. I will get that baby. <laughs> He's kind of bringing me out we'll just a little bit. <clears throat> Taylor approached the woman who was shopping with her two young children in the store, commenting on her older son's blonde hair and blue eyes. Hmm. Oh, so she's racist. And asked, <laughs> <"How's>, <laughs> and asked she's how, a much white privilege. She, how much she could purchase him for. The mother then told Taylor to stay away from her and her sons. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's hard to imagine what drove Taylor to think that it's okay to purchase another human being. She's from Texas. Um, she has some pretty outrageous standards, though. Blonde hair and blue eyes are oddly specific. <clears throat> she seems to have put a lot of thought into this ridiculous notion. Taylor had apparently been looking for the perfect child to purchase for months and decided this was her moment. Oh. In her head, it was entirely acceptable to approach a total stranger with $500,000 and purchase their child. According to the mother, Taylor was <laughs> with another woman who actually knew her son's name and started asking personal questions Whoa. of him. This That's is super creepy. This is getting into some and child. This is why you need to watch what you put on Facebook. A uh, child allegedly began to, or sorry, Taylor allegedly began to scream at the mother, saying, "If she wouldn't take five two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for him, then she would give five hundred thousand dollars because she wanted him and she was going to take him." Ooh, holy crap. What the freak? Taylor and the other woman knew... Oh, I already read that. Um, the officer who wrote the affidavit... That's right, yeah. Affidavit went to Taylor's residence to question her about the incident. Oh, really? So I thought she was arrested on the, on the spot. She told me that she doesn't like thieves. Then she stated, I can speak with her attorney. What? 
And get off her precipice. <laughs> Is this it? No, get off her premises. I she like slammed precipice. precipice. Get off my precipice. <laughs> get off. <laughs> she slammed the door shut, the affidavit said. While Taylor has been released from jail on bond, it's going to be interesting to see what becomes of her case if she will ever fulfill her month-long dream. Purchase. Yeah, it's her month-long dream of purchasing a random child. <laughs> wow. So I, I am not a thousand percent. I did. This is the only article I saw of it, but I'm assuming it's real. Yeah, because well. I because I think I saw a meme of this, or I forget how I came up how I found this, but I was just like, "What in the heck <laughs> is going on?" I mean, it looks like Texas Walmart because there's only trucks in the picture. True. Oh my gosh, you're right. There's only trucks. <laughs> like you're looking at like all trucks and the handicapped parking spot, and like, oh my, gosh. it is Texas. It's Texas. Everybody's Texas. Oh my goodness. <sighs> oh my. So, all right, you want to take over? Not really. Okay, fine. It's so much easier when you do it. All righty. <clears throat> Are we ready? Yes. I'm ready. <laughs> I'll, I won't put it on the screen until you say so. Okay. So the governor of, uh, which state is it? West Virginia. I'm just going to start reading this article real quick and then right. we'll. Charleston, West Virginia. <coughs> I don't know why I'm dying right now. No, eh, you know. So Charlton, Charleston, <laughs> West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice. Oh, that's a great name. That's Jim a Justice. pretty sick name. I really feel like he should have. My a cape. name is Jim Justice, and I'm here to serve you some. <laughs> I'm JJ, Governor <laughs> JJ. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> has a message for singer and actress Betty Midler, who called West Virginians poor, <laughs> illiterate, <laughs> and strung out <laughs> in a tweet. <laughs> Well, I could see why he was frustrated. I could see that too, <laughs> and the antics that ensue. Yes, that, it's it's. I'd say that's an equal. That's equal. It's equally. Silly. It's equally silly. Continue. <laughs> In a tweet after Senator Joe Mitchin refused to support President Joe Biden's Build Back a Better Act, Build Back, Build better. Build, build Back, back better. better Act. Hmm. Joe Anyways. Biden's Build Back Better Back. Act. Act. Crap. <laughs> the, back, 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 back. <laughs> the 70 year old Republican governor ended his televised <laughs> state of the state address Thursday night by lifting up, we can up his English bulldog and flashing its rear at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that dog is a <laughs> Look at the lady. <laughs> That's funny. That, that dog is in peril. <laughs> that the dog. dog is, what the crap, dude? He's doing the dog thing, too. When you lift up dogs, they get all rigid. His yeah. back legs are like, Poof. what are you doing, dude? Dude, this is this messed up. This is this is not how this works. <sighs> Baby dog tells <laughs> Baby Betty dog. Midler and all those out there, kiss her hiney, just as said. <laughs> <laughs> Grinning as people applauded and some gave oh him a gosh. standing ovation. <laughs> now, I will say... <laughs> He's not helping the point. I know. It's like, <laughs> um, she's she's kind of like you. Kind of made my point, sir. Ah, uh, <sighs> Justin has spent more than an hour, uh, toting the state accomplishments, including two recently announced economic development projects. We don't care about the rest of this stuff. Absolutely, too many people doubled us. But yeah. what we do care about is that. Yes, this is why. We love the government sometimes. Oh, gosh. Because they do stuff like like this. Oh, my gosh. Why? Because so, some singer-songwriter told him he was an illiterate, <laughs> poor, strung-out West Virginian. <laughs> I ain't strung out. Here's my dog. <laughs> Kiss my dog, Tiny. <laughs> oh, well. That's great. I'm just going <laughs> to leave that on the screen for a minute. That's... <laughs> That's wonderful. We're just going to leave this on. This is our background. That's our new. <laughs> <laughs> this is now our background. <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. All right. Now to speaking of other dogs, heinies. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love you. J-Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have a friend who we actually had on the podcast, and he sent us some wonderful art. 
uh, J-Man sent us some, I, I think I'll probably, if I can get some download. It would be better to just post I'll it. I'll still show them well, here. Yeah. But uh, he sent us some of his toy photography. That's This is my personal favorite, honestly. Yeah. It's really, really good. Yeah. He sent us some, what are these? Five, uh, 12 by 7s? 11, 11 by 12, 8s? 12 by 8s or something? Something like that. But yeah, but they're really, this, really Look nice. how detailed this is. This one is ridiculous. Yeah. I absolutely love his stuff. I, I really enjoy it when he's like, hey, I'm working on some stuff. Like, yeah, send it to me. He, and, and he'll he, send you stuff. And he's like, dude, that looks he's really He's been sending sweet. us some stuff in Discord. He's been doing doing more entrails. <laughs> Oh yes, the entrails. He's been doing entrails, and uh, like this one, he's doing a, a sparkler in the background for effect. Yeah, but the sunset one's really nice. Yeah, like his, he does a really nice job. And oh yeah, once he gets out of school, hopefully he'll do a some more. He does more of that. But um, you can check him out at uh, I think the Amazing J Man on Instagram to see all of his posts, and you can also check out he has his own podcast where he interviews uh, fellow toy photographers and other artisans. Artists in, in different fields. He actually interviewed us once, so uh, we were very honored. Yes. <laughs> and, it was uh, nice being on something else other than our own podcast. Exactly. Well, we were on uh, the other podcast, uh, the Man Up podcast. The Man Up podcast. Where we talked about something. Comic uh, books. Wolverine. No. It was just comic books? Yeah. And I, uh, X-Men. X-Men. That's right, because yes. it's it was a gender... They were getting frustrated because of, <laughs> they want to change its name from. Oh, they don't want to X Men. They want to X people, X people, <laughs> or something like that. It was something else. I don't know. Anyways, doesn't matter. Anyways, uh, check him out. Uh, J Man's Cantina. Yes. Uh, you can find him on everything, everywhere. It's spot at everywhere podcasts are available. I think he's mostly on Anchor, but I think it's everywhere, like Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, stuff yes. like that. Yes, he is. He's not on Podbean, though. So. That's because he's using Anchor. Exactly. So, anyways, that is uh, our little plug for Jamin. Uh, thank you for, for that. <laughs> now, this story has been going around for years. I mean, it's I've seen this picture forever, and I never even really knew what it was from until someone posted it, and then I looked it up, and supposedly it's true, according to onlyinflorida.com. Uh, I have to crop all of this, really? <laughs> oh my gosh oh James. websites are ugly yeah if anyway. you ever actually just sit and look at a website and you realize how disgusting they are i know i try not to yeah if, if that's that's when you go like this is why facebook and instagram were successful because they're pretty they're a lot prettier to look at yeah because i've been looking for uh inventory stuff for my job from work trying to find a nice oh my gosh they're system. so bad and I've went Tool to this websites one. are the worst. They are. Uh, the, honestly, the best one I've found is one that's really, is, it's like an app. Like Milwaukee is even like not yeah. that great to look at. <clears throat> yeah. You think they could spend a little more money and get some creative people to well, come no, in and I make them I bet they spent a ton of money is the worst yes, part. Yes, I know. On um, <clears throat> people that are like from the early 2000s are like, hey, I'm 80 years we old. We should put 4,000 ads in this one picture. Oh, goodness, yes. Anyways, <clears throat> this picture has been going around. Only in Florida, man <laughs> turns himself in for killing his imaginary friend. He <laughs> looks truly distressed. He does. That poor man. Oh. This is this was published in 2015, so it's it's <laughs> not anything new. Wait, no. Seven. <laughs> Seven now. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> the picture you just saw is Jeff Gaylord. <laughs> That's not real. Anyways, the 37-year-old... And his name is not Jeff. Yeah, it's it is. off. That's Jeff. With an O? Yeah, it's how you spell Jeff. No, it's not. Whatever. I'm it's calling J-E-F-F. Jeff. It's Jeff. <laughs> no, they, they, you can spell like Jeff like this. Who spells Jeff like that? That's Jeff. Goff. Jeff Ramsey. Jeff Ramsey? You know Jeff Ramsey. No, I don't know yes, a Jeff Yes, you do. Ramsey. Who is Jeff Ramsey? That's Geoff Gaylord. <laughs> you know Jeff. <laughs> it's Jeff Ramsey. He plays, uh, not church. Who does he play? He plays in Red versus Blue. Anyways, it's Jeff. That's how he spells Jeff. That's Jeff. No, that's Geoff. It's Jeff. G-E-O-F-F -F is how you spell Jeff. Geoff Gaylord. Anyways, Jeff Gaylord. <clears throat> the 37-year-old entered the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Tuesday oh, and turned himself in. rough for 37. Yeah, 37? Oof. 
I've seen him work. Eh, he just he, he needs he needs to do what I need to do, which is work out and eat better and not do drugs and not do copious amount of drugs where he turns himself in. <clears throat> Mr. <laughs> On Tuesday, and turned himself in for killing his imaginary friend, Mr. Happy. His room no wonder was he's so sad. He killed his happy friend. He killed his happiness. His room was a mess of all the time with his toys and dolls. Oops. And he, he told the police he left his empty vodka bottles all over the kitchen, never picked up his empty cocaine baggies, and left the toilet seat down when he peed. Oh. Oh, then you got to sit in it later, unless you have really good aim, and I bet he doesn't have really good aim. He messed up my apartment to the point where I just couldn't clean it. Oh, Mr. Happy did this. Yes. He's talking Sorry. about Mr. Happy right now. <clears throat> Before Hap started doing drugs and acting <laughs> weird, he was my BFF best friend forever. We'd go dancing, play, I don't know what this voice is, play on children's park equipment. Oh, okay. <laughs> Both huge fans of doom metal. Listen to it for hours with the lights turned off. Listening to music for hours with the lights turned off, any kind of music is terrifying. <laughs> any kind of music. Especially on cocaine. <laughs> Woo! Anyways, uh, police said Gaylord was extremely intoxicated and threatened to kill them after they told him they could not give him the death penalty for his crime. <laughs> <laughs> They searched his house and found drug paraphernalia and a machine gun. <laughs> Gaylord was booked on multiple charges, but his bail has not yet been set. I assume it has by now. Only in Florida. Get full stories here. Oh. Turn off ads. I would love to. But you they turn- want me to give money. Of course. And I'm not willing to give them money. Oh. Fun fact. Type in your name, just your first name on Urban Dictionary, and you get some fun answers. Because, like, I typed in James, and I got some, like, he's very handsome and polite and likes and listens to you and is just an all-around good guy. You should take him home to your parents. And then the next one was, like, James is a C word. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, look, it's James. He's a C word. Like, that was the definition. And then I looked up Olivia's name. There's not one negative thing about a girl. There was no negative things. I typed in uh, Silas and Sam's names, and there was it would be like, these people are very awesome and neat and cool people. And it was like, this person sucks. So there's a, so there was it's like, it's all user submitted, obviously. So it's yeah. just like people being like, my name is Chad, so I'm going to put down that I'm freaking awesome, and then I can be like, look at this, and then you can get a mug. I want to get one. They're thirty five dollars, so I'm probably not going to. But get James and then have a definition of a cool definition on the back or a bad one. I don't know. Mm, that sounds exciting. Guys. Anyways, that was a rabbit hole that I went down yeah. last night for like five minutes. <laughs> don't you just love like you just like where? How did I get to this place? What Pretty is much. this? What am I looking at? Why am I here? What's happening? <laughs> All righty. I don't. I'm gonna be real with you, Caleb. I don't know who this person is. You really don't know? I don't know by the name. I probably know his voice. I probably know his, his songs. Okay. Hang on. We we, we got to pull us pull up. It. All right. So first and foremost, um, let's just read this title. Already? Um, hang on. <laughs> first, let's look at the picture. Beautiful. It's a monkeys and a man mm-hmm. singing to them. <laughs> that alone is like, you know, the... the how much would you have to get paid to get this job? I don't know. I uh, I, I don't know. Oh, yes. This is brand new. This is brand new news. Oh, yes. All right. Actually, he's had a lot of, a lot of good songs. But this is like, like, if you know Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye. Apparently, he's dead, I'm assuming. No. Oh, he's just alive. But yeah. Well, yes, he'd be super expensive. Okay, fine. Uh, this song. Now that we're playing this, let's talk about what we're getting into. <laughs> okay, don't play this much longer. I'm probably going to cut it anyways. Yeah. Probably because it will probably get banned if we play it. We'll get banned everywhere then. So, 
I guess we could find something on our free music. Bow, bow, and bow, 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 Anyways, bow, bow. Zoo hires Marvin Gaye impersonator to get monkeys in the mood. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, a British zoo aiming to bolster its population <laughs> of endangered monkeys hires a Marvin Gaye impersonator to visit the enclosure and croon love songs to them monkeys. <laughs> so, <laughs> read the next line. Read the next line. Oh, the monkey forest in Stanford, England. Oh, said Dave Largy. Largi, an experienced <sighs> Marvin Gaye impersonator, oh gosh. performs selections from the Souls legendary category catalogs, including oh "Let's Get It On" <laughs> and "Sexual Healing." <laughs> inside the Barbary habitat. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine getting that phone call from your agent? <laughs> <clears throat> so, uh, <coughs> what was that guy's name? I already forgot it. Oh, good grief. <clears throat> Excuse me, David. Uh, I got a gig for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool, cool, neat. Uh, um, sorry, I didn't realize you were going to play along. I didn't know either. <laughs> <laughs> Just now. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, David. Hey, uh, it's your agent, uh, Steve. Hey, hey, Steve. It's <laughs> that voice. Hey, he sings um, Marvin Gaye songs. Okay, uh, so I got you a gig. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's uh it's it's in England. Oh yeah, it's pretty pretty neat. Pretty oh, neat. Maybe he's already English. I don't know. Let's pretend he's not. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's in England. <laughs> I like I like the zero search. Keep going. Uh, it's uh it's a private uh a private show. Oh, a private S- show. Small group. Small group. What am I getting paid? Uh. So, do you like zoo merch? Like, have you ever been to a zoo and you're like, man, that's a cool t-shirt? So, so, so you're saying I'm getting paid in Dippin' Dots? No, 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 no. <laughs> like, zoo merch. Like, the hat. You, get, like, you can have as many maps as you want. <laughs> and uh, you can pet a panda once. Pet a panda. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Uh, yeah, let's continue on. We uh, thought it w- could be a creative way to encourage our females to show a little affection to the males oh that gosh. might not have been so lucky in love. Park director Matt Lovett, Lovett said on the zoo's website, females in season mate with several males, so partially, partly, <laughs> among our furry residents is never known. Parentry. Holy uh. crap. <laughs> Each birth is vital to the species because these things are endangered. I'm not even going to try <laughs> to say their names. Oh, ooh, there's a video. Oh, oh boy. Should we watch should, the video? Should let's we, should, frick it. Okay, let's do it. Frick it. I wanted, I wanted this to go away. That's all I wanted. Sorry. <laughs> this is so... Oh, my God. There's monkeys in the background. He looks like he has manners and stuff. This is great. I should have turned the volume down. This oh, this is so cringy. That was... That was great. Just singing... Like... J- what in the world? Don't you love the English? It's not the English. That's just human beings. I love human beings. We're so stupid. That is true. We do the stupidest thing. Because it's... Hey, you know what a monkey needs? Some love music. Well, I just... That'll like, get him in the It's mood. like, hey, hey, so you know how we've... Probably us humans, I'm assuming, have uh, driven these things to extinction? <laughs> we probably should try to make them, you know, populate again. Oh, uh, how, how should we do that? Marvin Gaye. <laughs> Seems legit. Let's fly him out here or whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. Okay. Well, those were that was that was a pretty fun. That was a pretty 
packed story. That was a fun little story. This is some fun. That is some. This is a packed episode, everyone. Yeah, we I actually know. tried today. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just we got lucky and found good articles. <laughs> Shut up, I James. mean, yeah, we tried today. We tried. We tried very hard. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much for following. That do I really need to break out the script again? Yes, it's been so long. It's been like what three weeks, two weeks? No, no, no. It's been so long since I've read this script. Oh. I, haven't, I haven't popped the script out in a long time. It's probably I, not bad. It's probably not a bad idea to hit it again. Then probably not a Charles Lazar sandwich. Every time I open this thing, that's the first thing that pops up here. The sandwich, I guess. Uh, I'll have to talk about that. <laughs> Somebody's asking me how a water heater goes bad. I don't know. Anyways, thank you. What's that? It rusts out. Yeah, it can. Anyways, thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram uh, for updates on what we're doing when I remember to post and when I when I have content. Uh, you can check us out on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean, and you can listen on. You can watch us on YouTube. So that's about it. You can listen to this anywhere. I already said that. You listen there to you know. Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Yeah, I ignore you. Sometimes. It's okay. If you want to be on the podcast, have a green screen background suggestion, or if I already said that part. Oh no. I'm Anyways, sorry. It's, it's fine. Um, but uh, it just you can email us at morningagnog at gmail Thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to have a wonderful morning, noon, and night. See you guys. Keep your pants on. Let's get it.